Okay, and welcome back to our series here inside of Silo for our FNPS 90. So, we have completed the main parts of the body of our PS90, and we've got some other pieces in here. So, I've got like the trigger. Um, I could do the carrying strap, which goes to the back of the stock, and <clears throat> there is also the receiver and the magazine and all those things like that. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do first is going to be the magazine, like because the magazine is going to be really quick and easy to do, so I'm going to go ahead and do the magazine and get that out of the way. So. For the magazine, I'm going to come here and I'm going to use a cylinder. Gives me my handy dandy cylinder. If you need to change anything about your cylinder, you can do that. You can go to the option box. So instead of just making it, you can come here and say create and go to the cylinder and go to options. And you'll see down here you can make, you know, however many sides you want to make and then do it. I'm just going to create it and let's come in here and I'm gonna shade this one so object right click on it goes to shade and scale this per se and I wanna rotate this and I want to rotate this looks like I wanna rotate it on the z-axis no x-axis so rotation on x let's see 90 Alright, I should have been in this viewport. And it will be on the G. Let's see. Looks like it's on Z, but it's really not. That's weird. I mean, not Z, but on X. But it's really not. And. But it is on X. Huh. It's just kind of funky. Come on. Do this real quick. Boop, 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 boop. And create a cylinder again. And. Yeah. That. Huh. It's very awkward. So. Okay, that was weird. Some things happen weird here inside of Silo. Let's make this ghost shaded as well. Grab, grabby, grab this. And let's scale this down. Alright, oh yeah, oh yeah. Scaling it down, scaling it down. And I want to scale this down right about here. And I'm going to go to vertex mode and grab these and scale them right about there. And this guy I'm going to grab and I'm going to pull it flat right about here. And let's grab the whole thing and scale a little bit thinner because it's really thick. So scale this some thinness, some thinness to it, and then take these two and extrude. So Right, so that's in there. Pull this down a little bit. Yeah. And take this right here and then just pull this back to where it's supposed to be, like right about there. So that's kind of how that goes. And then 
the Z to extrude again, and then this extrudes. Repeat last command. So go here. All right. So I can now take this right here and I'm going to bevel this open just like that and I am going to take this polygon right here and let's do another extrusion get my scale tool scale it in this way and also scale it in a little bit this way there's like a little bit of, of a well like a little well into this little divot well in here and now that I've got that all lined up and everything's all copacetic I can come in here and do things like my split ring oh this right here I say split ring and bring this close to here to keep that part tight let's do the same thing over here repeat last command and drag this this way to keep this tight and when I subdivide this you can see my shapes stay but I need to now split this around this way split loop bring this up to towards the top Let's do it again, split loop, and bring this towards the bottom. And it stays hard right there. Everything is nice and hard as it was. And back here with these two, it's going to extrude them. It gives, gives me this little teeth that it has right there. And that's kind of it. That's pretty much what that is um, there's some parts of this that, that happens in here so scale this in a little bit and let's repeat this last command and bring this down a little bit last command and kind of bring this in some so now I can come in here and go to vertex mode and round this back out <laughs> ho 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 oh yeah There's my clip, or my magazine. Right, that's my magazine. So I could round, I could square off the back end of this a little bit. I don't think this is this round on this in real life. So I could do another split loop and round, and you know, kind of square this off back here, and do another one and square this off like this way I'm pretty sure that that piece is probably more like that with like the tabs on it then you know kind of lock it really quick and I might even do a loop that goes through this the other way too so like here and then I can push this over this way and repeat last command and push this over this way and that tightens that up gives me the nice little arch in there and everything else ah. up 
particular fan of the way that looks though. But let's go in here and see what we can clean up. There we go. There we go. And I actually don't want this to run all the way through here. I want it to stop before it gets there. So I'm just gonna merge these. Gonna merge these back together. I should have um should have done it by hand, but for the sake of time, I was just trying to get through the modeling of this pretty quickly. Because sometimes what we talked about, having all those additional edges doesn't make your modeling better. It actually can make your modeling worse and you're stuck with it and you have nothing to do about it. Like this right here, these little things. These little things right here make, actually make my modeling worse than better. So I'm going to merge them out. So merge. And merge. And merge. And merge. Actually, I don't even need any of this on this back side back here. Like none of this needs to exist back here on this back end, on this back edge, because the they're only in there for that groove on the on the underbelly part of the clip. So everything back here can kind of go away. And this is decimating my mesh because I'm bringing down the poly count. still holds everything the way it's supposed to hold it just bringing it down some using pilot guns where I need pilot guns and nowhere else so now when I go in here and actually smooth this you can see things are a lot cleaner there's no really weird bump stuff going on in there anymore what's there is there and what's needed is there nothing more nothing less and that's always a good thing and I didn't hold shift <laughs> when I clicked into that viewport and there we go so let's pull this forward a little bit Pull this forward a little bit. Let's grab all of it. Let's scale it all up a little bit. And there we go. Yeah, I got this like really weird. That's right, because I'm not. I'm looking through only one side of it. Duh. Duh, doctor. There we go. So got my clip. Clip is done. Clip is plastic. Oh my bad. The magazine. Magazines, plastic, plastic, plastic. So, as I can see from my images, my real image of my gun, because I've been looking at this off to the side as well the whole time, I can see in my real image of my gun that the res the barrel part of this that goes to the receiver, like all this right here, is kind of all the working parts of this are right in here, realistically. I got my trigger in here for my action, and I got my slide right here, and um, I also have my uh, mag right here, and the barrel and everything else. So everything's kind of really happening in this area. Um, so the slide, so my slide, the receiver, and the barrel are all one piece that sit right in here for the for the uh, PS90. So. I'm gonna make my barrel. Barrel gonna be pretty easy to make, pretty quick. So let's do it. Let's do it. Till you satisfied. Yeah, come on and do it. I'm save. Case, cause you know, even though this isn't Maya, um, <laughs> silo can crash. It, it's not impervious to it. So I'm gonna make another cylinder. So cylinder, kabluk, kablammy. Let's uh, go shade it. 
Let's go shade the whip. Go shade. Yeah. And one thing I'm, I'm not going to do when I do this is one, I am not going to make, I'm not going to leave this as one piece. I'm going to make it just like it's made. So I'm going to break this up into pieces because the barrel, well, I guess the barrel is, well, the muzzle rather. I guess it has that fluted muzzle and everything else is all one piece. So yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess it is all one piece. So scratch that because I think what I, I think what I'm using this image I don't know if this is actually the real PS90 I don't not that I don't, I don't I think it's not you know tangibly real I don't think that this is I think this might be an airsoft gun I'm not sure it feels like it is a real MP I mean on you know, PS90 rather but then parts of it feel like it's not a real one. But we forge on either way. Either way, it's pretty easy. So I've got this, and let's go in here to face mode, and let's see which end of my thing is selected. Okay, is this in? Awesome. I'm gonna hit Z to extrude just a tiny bit and then hit Z to extrude again just a tiny bit and on this one I'm actually going to scale this up a little bit like that and let's hit Z again to extrude like right about here and then let's repeat last command all the way out to here and then let's repeat last command and go in a little bit like this and let's scale down a little bit hit Z to repeat last command this is this way and let's get the scale tool again and scale in a little bit more like so so that's that end of the barrel so this end of the barrel Let's come in here and let's hit Z and take this. Looks like this tapers out just a, a minute amount. So let's see. And there you go, something like that. Let's get closer to this because this is and let's hit Z and go right here and Z again let's go this way and let's scale down just a slight amount something like right about here and let's just pull this back like that and then Z again this is here And then Z again. So Z. Scale it out a little bit. And then Z. Pull it back. And then Z. Extrude it. Scale it down a little bit. And then Z. And take this all the way back to like right about here. There we go. Something like that. So I got my barrel. Got my barrel. My barrel's in there. My barrel. I've got my barrel, son. My barrel. Looks like those are rounded barrels so I can do something a oh, whole that's not let's undo that so I'm gonna come in here and grab there's like one two so let's see I think it's gonna be every every edge I'll grab every edge I think that's right 
Well, this might be too fluted. Let's just see. Bevel them open and see. So bevel. Yeah. Looks about right. And now I can go in here and get my faces. So I got my faces. Just like that. And it's gonna get my extrude. Extrude them down just a little tiny bit. And repeat last command. Let's extrude them in some more. Just like that. So let's smooth this and see. Yeah, I think. They look okay. And I think this needs to come out a little bit more. Give it some space. And come here to edge mode and actually bevel this open. So this has some space right here. And then go back to face mode. Let's pull this back flat. But let's extrude it. Something like that. And then extrude it again. Let's extrude it back into here. And then delete it. Delete that. And that gives me a hole. So same thing with these. These now need to be selected on the interior pieces right here get them real quick and I'm just going to delete them because the muzzle they're ported open and grab this and let's not pull this back so far let's pull it like right here so now it makes sense because really so there would be interior part of this but I'm not gonna model the interior portion of this just to have that that would be insane in the membrane insane in the brain so I'm just gonna have it like that Let's pull this back. I thought that would be. There we go. This will come up here to hold that a little bit better. So let's subdivide again and see what's going on. That looks perfect. I like the way that looks. And I don't need this. This end cap can go. And that opens that up and leaves that open the way it's supposed to be. And. I actually like that. That looks really good. Um, I think I might do a split loop here. Alright, so we can see that holds it on that side and then let's do another let's do another split loop. to hold it that way. I think I might have added the split loop by mistake and take that split loop out and take that split loop out because that could be a straight barrel all the way down to there which is fine. So now I can see yeah that gives me what I'm looking for. Oh yeah! Ka -ka 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 -ka. Anakalishnikov. But it's not an Anakalishnikov. This is a PS90. So, 
Um, this is going to be the thing that's going to give me the most trouble because I, I don't have an actual view of the receiver that I can make huge amounts of sense out of. I can, I can tell just from having held one of these, I can tell and I know that this is my slide right here, but then how everything else contorts and can fits in there, contusions in there. Because the receiver, this part goes here to the body, right up top of the trigger, and then the magazine snaps in here. So we're seeing this little cut off divot right here is where it ends up being right here. Well, right here rather. Um, so I need to be able to kind of finagle what's going on here. And I can see you can tell you can tell right here this is where the magazine the round part of the magazine kind of sits at this magazine release release right here this is divoted in so maybe that's something that you know I need to think about doing on my actual real model is hollowing this part in because this is what that would be this would be hollowed in like right in here like all this here would actually go in so maybe I need to think about doing that on my real model so I come in here and maybe do something like uh, extrude and extrude this this way and then maybe do another extrude and then let's actually see something let's jump down so get my scale tool let's scale this in just like this and scale it in this way too this gives me a little will and let's extrude again And that gives me a little will right in there. So let's crank it up and see. Yeah. That looks okay. It's not perfect. We need to get this really tight so I have tight lines here. Can do that with some triangles in precise places. Um, but this gives me something that I can actually work with now. Alright, it gives me something that I can work with. So, that looks good. All that stuff looks good. I can try to build my receiver right now. Um, I don't know how that's going to come out save I need to tighten some things up so because some things are you know they're they're rounded off because that's just what they are doing uh, sometimes I don't like the way this system works but so let's do this right here And this works because this is not a, uh, this is actually not, this actually just remade our quad. So if you look at this, it actually gave us a quad again and gave us a new loop edge. So there's a new loop that runs that way. And if we do the same thing here, it will give us the same configuration which will be good because we don't want that geometry to go through everything we just need it in localized places right so put this here so it tightens up that right there and like I say one of the one of, one of the one of the things you know one of the things that happens and helps sometimes is by adding in other things I get geometry that I can then move around 
like this. So you can see now I can actually move this stuff kind of this way. Take some tension off of other parts of my model, keep some things cleaner, like keeping this right here.